Hello YouTube, I'm recording this from southern England. I uh, don't have any editing equipment and uh, so you'll have to forgive me if I, I'm an R and uh, don't do a very good job. But I'd like to contribute to the conversation that's going on concerning the Jehovah's Witness organisation. I was born into a devout Jehovah's Witness family. Uh, did all the things that you're supposed to do until the age when I was able to defy my parents and force my way out basically. Um, I never really realised the amount of damage that had been done to my character, my personality until I had my own children. And it was then really that I realised that I'd never truly been unconditionally loved that my parents would have quite happily sat and watched me die for want of normal conventional medical equipment sorry, medical attention, i.e. blood they would have let me die and the thing is, what's really sad is that whenever I try to talk to any members of my family that will talk to me and a lot of them do not they're just not prepared to hear any form of criticism about the organisation at all. They consider that what I have to say is from the devil. And they consider that anything that re reflects negatively on the organisation is also from the devil. So how do you get through to people like this? How do you really stop such a damaging, harmful cult? thing is, this cult is not just a religious cult, it's also a business. Basically co-opting the free labour of its members to sell publications here and worldwide. And like any other business, the best way to affect it is to hit it in the pocket. Especially when you've got a situation where the individual members really don't want to hear what you have to say and just close their eyes, close their ears, sorry put their fingers in their ears and uh, just ignore you so you really have to go after the mothership basically um, I think there's a few things that we should be looking at if we really want to organise, affect this organisation the first thing really is that this organisation over here has charitable status and I think this is something that could be challenged after all they kill their members because they don't allow their members to accept ordinary medical attention the uh, members have a extremely high incidence of mental health issues and uh, stress etc they shun and break up families and uh, they've of late taken to issuing very very divisive provocative propaganda they mislead their members they've for years covered up child abuse through their way of handling this situation and all the time they claim state benefits in effect because as far as they present themselves, they present themselves as a religious organisation with educational aims. But it could be that um, our politicians who are currently looking for ways of saving money might think that it is inappropriate for um, tax money to be going into subsidising an organisation that has such a harmful effect. So basically, it's hit them in the pocket try to have their charitable status removed basically anyone that has been hurt by that organization sexually physically or whatever needs to basically get their recompense hurt them financially and in that way the organization itself will no longer be there to hurt anyone into the future What's really motivated me to create this video was the fact that I found that somebody had been trying to convert my children. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine my outrage in this. And uh, for me, uh, 
this is something that needs to be dealt with and I'm hoping that there are other people out there that are motivated, have the energy and the time and the talent to be able to do something but uh, I think it's time they need to go.